Good day everyone, I'm Margie Messina. So the topic for today that I will discuss is all about Euler's theorem. And the proponent of this theorem is Leonard Euler. He was born on April 15, 1707 in Basel, Switzerland. And he died on September 18, 1783 at the age of 76. Euler is held to be one of the greatest mathematicians in history and the greatest of the 18th century. He was a Swiss mathematician, physicist, astronomer, geographer, logician, and engineer who found the studies of a uh, graph theory and topology. He is also known for his work in mechanics, fluid uh, dynamics, optics, astronomy, and music theory. So let's proceed in our topic. In number theory, Euler's theorem is also known as the Permat-Euler theorem or euler totian theorem. It states that if n and a are co-prime positive integers and p uh, quantity n is Euler's totian function, then a raised to the power p quantity n is congruent to 1 um, modulo n. That is the formula that we will use. So for us to better understand, we are here to have some examples. So first example is we have 5 to the 12 is congruent to something. So mod 36. So let's see what is congruent to mod 36. So we would probably start up by calculating phi 36. So this is equal to 36 times 1 minus half times 1 minus third. So it equal to the original number and 1 minus the reciprocal of all the uh, of all the prime factors so 2 and 3 is the only prime factors in this case so you can check that this indeed 12 so we have here is 5 to the p 36 and 5 and 36 are wall prime so that give is this is 1 immediately so next example is 3 to the 44 is congruent to something mod 10 so again we uh, probably need to look at p of 10 and we will use this same formula so this will be 10 times 1 minus half times 1 minus 4 fifths and it's easy to see that this is uh, equal to 4 now we probably want to do this and a couple of steps so now uh, so since this is 4 and this is 44, so maybe the best strategy here is to write here is 3 to the 4. So the 4 to the 11 and we know that 3 to the uh, 4 is congruent to 1 mod 10. So this gives us, uh, this is 1 to 10 which is the 1 mod 10. So, this is a simple or small example that I create. I hope that you will understand. Thank you.